Hello friends, today we will see how to make an autocomplete text box in MVC3 Razor using JSON and jQuery and what does autocomplete means and the autocomplete means when a user or someone tries to write something inside a text box the text box should give him the suggestion depending upon the word entered by the user that is something called as autocomplete and the same functionality that is implemented by the Google and let's see what we will see in this video. In this video we will see how to implement autocomplete functionality in MVC3 Razor. We will use jQuery, Ajax and JSON to achieve this implementation. Now we are using hard coded array of value which will be queried based on the user's input. I mean when the user will enter something that input is taken from the user and that will be queried to an array which is predefined and we will use a key up event of the jQuery to capture the user's type character and this string is searched in the array result and then the result is shown as autocomplete list now let's see through the application how we can do this now we have our code ready now what we did we we made an controller that is autocomplete controller which renders an index view and if you see the index view here we have the entire code and we'll go through the code and we have rendered one text box that is target which id target okay so let's see by running now this is the running text box this is our index view now if I type R now you can see the R the text box is giving us a suggestion and it brings all the words or the suggestions or the values which have R in it now if I type row Naldo so it brings R O N the words having R O N so how that happens let's see through the code now what happens in the code is now when you type when you type something in the target we have a key up event attached to the target to the text box now when you press something and leaves the key that the value in the text box is stored in this we get this value in the variable now as we have used a key up the value will be present in the text box to get it and we have called a get items get items method and we are passing the letter typed by the user to the get items now in what what we are doing in the get items we are posting we are using a ajax post which calls a remote data method in the autocomplete controller the controller which we have made and which we showed just few minutes back and this and we are passing the letter entered by the user to this remote data now let's see what this method does remote data now this remote data gets a parameter from the ajax post which is the letter typed by the user in the text box now we check if the if if the letter typed or if the user generally typed the letter or he just clicked any other key and if it is not empty and it is not null and here we have defined a predefined array and we are finding that letter we are checking if this array contains the letter type by the user and we are returning a list of data we are returning a list of suggestions in this list data and this list data is returned is returned to the HTML again now here we are getting the response so now we are checking if response or data is not null I mean if some response is returned by the array and that means if we have found something in the array which is matching to the letter entered by the user then we are removing all the target URL this we are removing because suppose you typed F so it will bring Fabregas now you type second letter as a now it will bring the new results so we have to remove the earlier results to show the new results appended so that is why we are removing this target URL now we are fetching the data that is a list from the response and now we are creating a new UL as we have deleted here we creating the new UL and we are finding we are creating a new UL in the target if and we are finding any ally inside the ul and we are removing it so that 
uh, we should not get previous ally elements and we are using dollar dot each that is each function of jQuery to iterate through the list and we are creating a ally element inside that ul element which resides in the div element so if for r suppose 8 responses are coming from the array then those 8 responses will be uh, used here and 8 ally elements will be created and uh, we have we are also defining an on click event and this on click event what it does it it checks and suppose that out of the 8 suggestions user clicks on the third options then according to autocomplete text box functionality what should happen is whatever option the user is selecting that should be appended to the text box so that is done here we are fetching that value from the list and we are appending it to the text box and this else this else what we are doing is if the data is not null I mean if data is already empty then also we are removing the entire UL element so that for the next time the new element is made and one more thing we can do here is here we are using an hard code array instead of that we can use we can use we can query database uh, to get the real time data now let's see through debugging how how we get it and okay i am putting debugger and get items so let's go to the f12 okay now i type r now if you can check we are getting r in the query we are getting r from the text box and we are passing it to the uh, the remote action method is not called Okay, now remote data method is called. Here you can see R is passed. Now we are checking R. If, if it is not empty, it is not empty. So it, the array is defined and it returns all the data with R. Now you can see all the responses have the R. Now if I F I it, that list will be appended here. Now if you click any of the values, suppose you click Cazola, the Cazola is appended to the text box. So this is all about autocomplete text box and uh, I hope you understand it and to make it run uh, we just created one controller we added the method and the index view entire view and we just made changes in global dot AACX. we say we our initial controller is autocomplete and index is the first method to call you can find the entire code on on a blog that is 20 fingers we must have uh, added link in the video as well so this is all about autocomplete text box thank you friends